Hello there, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at the DJI Phantom 4 remote control. Now from the factory, it doesn't come with an HDMI output on the remote controller, but we've managed to get hold of a modification board to fit underneath. So in this video, we're going to take it apart, stick it on and have a look. First thing we need to do is to take off this existing panel on the back of the Phantom 4 remote control. So this is where we have a Torx bit and this is a Torx number six. Um, so I'm going to go around these four holes. So on the back, one, two, three and four. And we're going to take off these screws. Okay, and this panel should just flip off if I've taken all the screws out correctly. There's always one you forget, isn't there? Well, maybe two. There we go. So that's the back panel coming off. Let's keep those screws safe. And let's have a look. This is what it looks like inside. This circuit board is the one that comes from the factory. Now, in the packet that we've just opened, this is the new board. And as you can see, the difference is this connector here on the board, which joins up to this connector here for the new module. So we need to remove this board and stick this board in. Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see how how easy this will be. Okay, so it looks like there are uh, three connectors, one, two, and three. Three connectors which need to be removed from this board to allow us to take it out. So let's have a closer look at those connectors. So here we are with our mini cam and you can see that's the one on the right hand side. This is the one on the left hand side and this is the one which is in the middle. Um, so they're all very fragile. So we're going to have to be quite careful to take those out. So I'm using these, connect, uh, so I'm going to use this pair of pliers to take off the plastic Connect, uh, ribbon cables. So let's have a look at let's let's take off this first connector. You'll see that on the connector there's a piece of black plastic just here and it's very small. Let's lift it up and as we've lifted it up that will now allow us to take out this ribbon. There we go, we can take it out with our finger. And there we are, that ribbon cable is now out of that connector. Let's do the same for the other side. Just gonna very, use a very small driver just to lift that up. There we go, and it's up. And again, Maybe we can use our fingers. I'm going to use a tiny pair of pliers instead. And we've pulled that one out. Great. Well, that's good news. Now, I'm not going to do this last one just yet. I'm just going to undo the screws on the board. So, three screws on the board need to be removed. I'm going to use a very fine Judas screwdriver. Okay, that's number one. Number two. 
number two. It's just dropped down the side there. And the third one, which is here. Okay, so three screws have been removed. Let's just take out that third screw. There we go. Now, so now let's look at this white connector. Uh, as you can see, it's got a black retaining bar on it and we need to lift this one up just with a finger. we go it's all lifted up but see it's now quite wobbly and that means that we can now take this board out with the least amount of stress now just with a little bit of easing we can take that connector out So a little bit of easing, we can just take that connector out. It's a bit difficult to do while I'm holding a camera. <laughs> I shall put this camera down. And I should use this one instead. There we go. That's more like it. Best not to use anything sharp just ease it out and it will just pop out. There we go. And it's out. So we can lay out this board out and we're going to stick in the other board. So here's the other board. And we're just going to pop this into, into place. The first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to stick on that connector, the large one as we go in. So I've made sure that the tab is lifted up here. And I'm just going to push that in underneath. And slide it into that hole. So as you can see, I've now slid that small ribbon cable into that connector. I'm now going to push that retaining bar down. At the moment, the retaining clip is still up. So I've just centered it in the holes and now I'm going to push that down. There we go. That's now down, which means that that ribbon cable is nice and secure inside the connector. So it's time to put the screws back into the card to hold it into the plastic. Okay, so that's the first one. That's the second one. And let's do this last. Now you don't want to do them too tight just to make sure that they're in there firmly. So let's just uh, guide these ribbon cables out to where they're going to go to. There they are. Right, let's make sure that these little tabs, these new tabs are going to be, 
So let's make sure that these little tabs are up. Yep, that one's up. Let's make sure this one's up as well. Yep, that one's up. So it shouldn't take much to, to pop these in. Just going to use a small pair of tweezers to grab and to guide that in. There it is. That's in. And let's just press down this small connector. Okay, that's number one. And we're going to do the same for this side now. So we're going to get the tweezers again. Okay, that's in. And let's press down this connector here. Okay, and that's in. So there we are. We have both ribbon cables, or all three ribbon cables and uh, the screws. Great. So what we need to do now is just put the plastic on and uh, reassemble. Now, once we put the plastic on, there is a small uh, connector here, which needs to fit into this hole here. So it should theoretically fit quite simply. And it all squeezes together. So there we are. Two USBs and that middle one. I don't know what that one is. HDMI. Let's put in the torque screws. So we're going to put the torque screws back in. There we go. Looks like we are all done. Cool. So one nice, one nicely fitted panel. And there we go. That's how simple it is to change over the panel on the DJI, DJI remote control uh, to give you an HDMI socket uh, on the back. Now this sort of should allow us to record um, while, it's, while your drone's actually up in the air locally or even connect it to a vision mixer or whatever else. So in the next video, I'll show you how we can connect that up to a recorder, something like a Blackmagic Assist or a Samurai, uh, and uh, take it from there. So tune into the next video and uh, I'll see you then.